The local and regional legal fraternity came together on Tuesday, July 20. This is an honorable and august profession. It is an honor to be a lawyer. You must always represent your client without fear or favor. You get out of this profession what you put into it. The law is like a jealous mistress, second to none. The last quote I remember with fondness as I can still hear Kenneth's charming voice saying this to me for the first time as if it was yesterday. He was faithful to the law. Kenneth had a keen interest in passing on his knowledge, skills, and lessons to young pra younger practitioners and became a teacher and mentor to many. He preached thorough preparation and dedication. It was not about amassing wealth, but about doing the best for our clients whilst remaining respectful to the court. the daughter of an English conservative MP in February 1972. The brutal killing sent shockwaves not only throughout Trinidad and Tobago, but the entire Caribbean after her body was discovered in a shallow grave. It was one of the most publicized trials in the history of the Caribbean, with daily updates from the proactive daily newspapers in Trinidad and Tobago circulated regionally. Abdul Malik, whose case went all the way to the Privy Council, was eventually executed in Trinidad and Tobago in 1975. Ken, as he was affectionately called, became my mentor from the year 1985, during which time I was attached to the firm of Montclesian Company. I must say that Mr. Kenneth Monclazy QC guided me as my mentor in civil law, while Mr. Kenneth Foster QC guided me through the criminal law. I recall as a boy I was very interested in programs involving Perry Mason and Judge for the Defense. And I recall one time my father saying to me, but you know, we have a Perry Mason in St. Boucher. And I said, Perry Mason in St. Boucher? He said, yes. There's this man called Mr. Kenneth Foster. You must try to follow him. I want you to 